Hey everyone, Scott Cunningham, make a Sconcy business. Today we're going to be taking a look again at EOS social platforms. And I'm re-reviewing because there was a handful of complaints that I was being unfair to the EOS platform because I wasn't considering the difference between some of the platforms and their use and interoperability with different wallets. So I'm going back, I'm going to state a bunch of disclaimers so that everyone is completely aware of what this exactly entails, remove all the potential for bias and um, better test and share where I got the sources for these different applications to make this even more comprehensive, but I'm not even gonna call it a comprehensive review. If you find issues in this review, this is the last review of social platforms for EOS that I'm gonna do for some time. I will make any corrections and that need to be made and they will be rolled up into the comprehensive blockchain social platform review, which I will be doing next week after Foresting has released their full new application. And I've managed to go through and do the same thing that I'm doing here with all the Ethereum applications. Steam doesn't need to have this type of a review, though I will do something like this for Steam in the future because Steam applications use the same underlying account it's one account and you will you're, you're generally going to get the same thing no matter what platform you go to it's not as different as eos it's somewhat similar in the sense that you'll go and you'll connect but um your your posts will still show up on steam to the larger community etc whereas there's no they're not going to pull EOS posts from tribe and show them on, you know, discussions or whatever it might be. So it's a very different style there, but I will do something like that in the future as well. I got to go through a bunch of disclaimers. If you don't want to bother listening to all of this, you know, where am I getting my references from and all these different things, you can skip like maybe 10 minutes in to when I actually start reviewing applications. So to start off, I want to say that I want this to be as correct and informative as possible. The whole point and motivation of this is to help people correctly find the best suited application and social platform for them and helping them avoid going and signing up for a ton and having to explore so many different platforms and making it a huge hassle. I'm trying to speed up that process by eliminating basically all of the EOS applications. And again, that sounds pretty harsh, but we'll get into it. So I got all of my recommendations off of searching for EOS social platforms, getting recommendations from other people, as well as using DAP radar, state of the DAPs and app.co backslash EOS for all the EOS applications that they have listed there. A lot of these give you really good analytics as well, like how many daily active users, etc. Really great. Go and check those out. You'll see all the apps that I'm reviewing there. And uh, I'm basically going through the top like 10 because below that there was less than 100 people on the app. And I think to bother even reviewing applications that had only a hundred is pretty wasteful as well. I'm just turning off my phone here, but I digress. So the, the results really do speak for themselves it, for themselves. If you go down, you know, <laughs> I'm gonna just change that. The, these results really speak for themselves. And um, if you go through this blog, you'll pretty much have everything you need. But if you want to see me go actually through these websites and share exactly why I don't like a lot of the features on them and what they could improve, then uh, then stay tuned. So to be fair, though, a lot of these sites are not usable. They're lacking, a, you know, much of a community base. Like I said, most of them are under a thousand, well under a thousand users. Most a lot of them are even under a hundred. And um, plus they they need certain wallets as some are not good, some are but I want to stay away from talking about wallets during this review because that was a big gripe from people that there's better wallets out there. So I'm going to do a separate wallet review and I want you guys to leave comments below as to what wallets you think are the best for EOS. I will go through and use this and um, I'll try to review as many wallets as I can. That makes sense. And um, yeah, so I'll do another review for that in sometime in the future. Again, let me know what you guys use and your preferences for EOS wallets. And uh, I will 
I will do all of those. But uh, we're gonna we're just gonna throw that aside because we're just gonna focus on the social platforms for now. So again, while e while EOS is still worth a good amount, unfortunately they lack working and um, you know potentially mass adoptable platforms because like of all the things that I'm going to go through, the only potential platforms that I see that are really solid is Tribe and maybe, maybe EOS discussions, but that's a hard maybe, and I'll get into it. Also, I was really unimpressed with the limit to your username because I couldn't even use the right username that I wanted because I was limited by the uh, by the amount. So it's like Scott C. Bizzini. I just needed two more characters. It's unfortunate. Um, and, you know, some people will compare EOS to Steam and say, well, Steam isn't super easy to use either yeah but you don't need to like get a separate wallet to make it work with it and everything and download you know extra things to make it work properly and because the main the main point of all of this is that normies regular people who barely know anything about blockchain and crypto this a lot of the stuff isn't going to mean much to them and when they go on and they have to download a wallet and they have to approve all these permissions and they have to spend tips to be able to like someone's post, they're going to be like, this is ridiculous. How is this an improvement? And that makes complete sense because a lot of these platforms are using terrible social media models. Like the way that they've built their ecosystem is just terrible. And someone said, well, that's so unfair to EOS. Uh, you know, Scent uses it too, and so does Memo Cash, and da 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 da. It's like, yeah, and I, I fully disregard those as well. I do not recommend you using Scent or Memo Cash. A lot of the Bitcoin Cash applications require that you send tips for everything that you do. Uh, Peepith. There's many applications that do this, and they are all trash because no one is going. They're not going to get a big community. No one wants to give away money every time they do anything. That's just ridiculous. It's just not realistic. The small amount of people who who do think that, you know, oh, this will be so good. And then everyone will do that. It's, no, it's just that tiny amount of people. And um, it's just not it's not a realistic social model. OK, it's just not. And I'm sorry, guys, you can disagree. This is my opinion. And as a social media marketer, I mean, it's just it's just not it's just not going to happen. So again, I have the same criticism for every platform that does that. And, and and for a lot of these too, right? Like if you don't have a community on Ethereum app and there's like 100 people, I wouldn't use it either because we have to use what's going to end up being used by everyone, not these like tiny little niche apps that no one is using because it's just not realistic. Of course, there's going to be hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and only the top, only the best ones are going to end up staying. So when people get upset that I go through and I trash a bunch of these platforms, it's like, sorry, but that's how it works. That's how we find the good ones. And then we just focus on the good ones and then we get all the community there and we consolidate it. And then we continue to focus on and improve those platforms. So another big issue was uh, for me was if a platform had KYC verification to use the platform, big no-go. There's no way people are going to give their ID just to use a platform. Or if the platform isn't functioning properly, that should be obvious. But again, some people were like, oh, you're not giving it enough chance. It's new. Okay, it's new. Great. Um, I'll come back and I'll, and I'll take a look in like six months. And if nothing's changed, which is seriously, 90% of these apps, nothing changes in massive periods of time that I do between these different reviews. And, um, and that's, and that's why I'm making this review to, to, to let you guys know. So some people said some of the applications weren't actually social apps and that I was, you know, misrepresenting or, or whatever it might be. Cause you know, like higher vibes is for hiring and, and Boyd just has a social layer, but it's not a social platform. That's all fine and dandy. I can review less platforms. I was going off of what uh, some of the wallets suggested in the community and the, and the DAP list. I'm going off of what the EOS community is putting out there. And I'm taking that and using that. If you're upset with that, that's a reflection of the EOS community. And a perfect example of that 
would be on Scatter. So I'm going to pull up Scatter here. And, and, and also, interestingly enough, someone did point this out. They said most of the apps on Scatter are gambling apps. It is definitely not really looking to help people become more social uh, and, and build social applications. And I thought that was actually not a huge misrepresentation of the network. Because look at this. Even in Scatter, the first category listed is gambling. 64 applications. Way down here, we got social. There's six applications. This is an extension. This is shut down. And this is awful. This isn't really a social application according to many, many people. And when I actually got on and really went through, yeah, there really isn't much of a social layer, even though they say that. Decentium has barely anyone on there. Same with Tribe, but Tribe is the best out of all of these. But regardless, if you were going off of their own recommendations, half of these are not actually working. Like it's just so outdated. And again, you could say maybe that's just scatter that's giving that bad information and that's fine and I'll agree. But uh, I found them on the DAP list and such as well. So, you know, take it as you will. Continuing down here. Yeah, I will. I will review the EOS wallets at another time uh, for platforms that are in a in another language. Someone was like, OK, it's in another language. Why can't you review the white paper, though? Because this is for an English audience. We're doing a review for my English audience. So we're not going to look at a bunch of Chinese apps because it doesn't make sense, even if the white paper is in English, right? No one's going to use Google Translate because no one likes Google, especially in this community. No one's going to be using Google Translate to, to go and translate everything they do just so they can use this application, mainly being used by people who don't speak their language. Doesn't make sense. So the first application that we're looking at is Tribe. I've already done like two reviews that talked about tribe plus a specific review only looking at tribe. But regardless, we are going to look at it again. I'm going to leave out all the issues that I have with the wallet, which I have many, many, many gripes about the wallet. We're mainly just going to focus on the social aspect here. Okay. So when you go to your page, which is kind of weird, if you just saw, um, there's nothing on your page when you first come on. It doesn't have one of these tabs open for some reason. And you've got your social newsfeed, which is like Twitter posts, like just like little status updates. These don't go to any feed other than your profile. So probably never going to be seen your articles. They get shown to everyone. And um, I mean, as you can see from the last article I posted and every other article I have posted in the past week, they're all top rated. Why? Why would they be top rated, especially when I have all these gripes with EOS? Well, because there's barely anyone using the platform. So almost anyone making a post is going to become top rated. And you can see this because if I go into blockchain and cryptocurrencies and I show you the top rated posts, you're going to see a ridiculous amount of my posts because, again, there's barely anyone posting. So it's very easy to become top rated. Oh, and apparently clicking on that doesn't actually do anything okay annoying um so then we'll go and we'll we'll look at cryptocurrency here blockchain and cryptocurrencies and then when we look at most popular it's always just the newest post right if you switch between newest and most popular it's literally the exact same um but as you can see my post from 19 hours ago is right there and it's basically linear because any post is the top post because there's not that many people posting again, you know, yes, there was several posts today, but it's still very, very low traffic. And, um, you know, I, I, I wouldn't recommend it because there's also a lot of other things. Like you go on your profile, you have no profile cover photo. Um, you know, the notifications don't work correctly. They don't actually take you to where, you need to go like they liked my post, which post I don't know, I can only click on them and go to their profile, but I can't go to the actual post, including comments, etc. You just have to guess and then look for them. Super unintuitive, the messenger application really unintuitive. Again, you know, I'm just I'm not a huge fan of it. 
it's good that they offer it and they have the like the potential maybe in the future they improve a lot of this stuff yeah i think this could do really well but now we're going to get on to the biggest gripe of all and it's that all of the posts that you make all the article posts the posts that people will see outside of your profile they all must be approved they all must be approved by a moderator the the point or the claim is that it is for ensuring there's no plagiarism etc but there's no guarantee that there couldn't be some bias and you know you could get censored because if you give them the option it's possible now my post going against eos because i'm doing a fair review in my opinion that actually points out a lot of flaws they were allowed so generally i haven't seen any issues with censoring but it is possible and when people look for blockchain platforms typically they are looking for decentralized platforms this is more centralized than like facebook it's not good sure facebook required that you had to get an approval from facebook to post then everyone would be pissed and they would stop using facebook i don't see why this is going to be an improvement right a lot of people say yeah but like it's good because it solves the plagiarism issue you know when a regular person comes on the platform they're not like oh is this plagiarized is this plagiarized they're thinking am i allowed to just post without someone having to moderate it that's what they're thinking. You gotta, you gotta look, you gotta reverse engineer. Yes, it makes sense on the platform side. It makes sense for the creators who are being plagiarized, but that's not a big concern at all to most users. They just want a platform that they can use fluidly without having all these restrictions and moderation, um, in, like interjections into what they're doing. And I could go on like, you know, their, their token has lost a lot of its value, many, many different things, but I've talked a lot about this already in other reviews. I don't want to just sit here, you know, hammering it into uh, against tribe because I still think tribe is the best application. That's why I go so hard against tribe, you know, writing so much about it because I want them to know in depthly what needs to change. And then if they do fix all of this, then I'd be happy to list it as one of my top recommendations in the comprehensive review that I will do soon. EOS discussions. Um, this is a weird one, right? Like you don't have a profile, but you do have an account and you do have a picture, but you can't change the picture. So what's the point of even having that little head thing? No idea. Um, it's based on topics and you can just freely post. I mean, you don't even need an account. You can just be posting anonymously, but again, like most eos applications you have to approve every time you do something so for example i go to a, i go to upvote this and i have to approve it and that seems just grossly tedious to me and extremely creates a huge resistant point for for regular users because they don't want to be like approving every single thing that they do i mean you can go and whitelist things and da -da -da -da, but um for people who are like completely new they won't even really understand it's like wait i have to whitelist this and i have to do this just to be able to like like something i'm so confused obviously people who are familiar with this kind of stuff it's like yeah that makes total sense but again we have to we have to go to the lowest common denominator and think from the the average user who doesn't really know much about crypto can they use this platform this is a no-go. Plus, it's missing like everything that you would assume a normal social platform would have. I think the design and the concept is good, but they really need to build this out and add a lot more for this to actually be a viable platform to use. Sense is the next platform. This is mobile only, which I do have a gripe with. I'm not a fan of platforms that you can only use on your phone just because it's really unintuitive, especially for blockchain crypto communities, which a lot of people are still using desktop. So, you know, I'm not really a fan of that, but I understand there's going to be many applications that will. I'm just not a fan of that. So I'm not going to say no because of that, but I will say no to this platform because they barely have anything going on. They only had like 12 channels, and this is pretty much most of it, including things like Hello World and 
support and stuff. And there was like one person online on each channel. So there's really nothing going on. And this is basically just a messaging application. They basically ripped off the Facebook Messenger logo here almost to a T. They literally just slightly changed the angle of this like zigzag. And um, yeah, it's basically just like a messenger application. So I barely would even call it a social app. And some people might say, well, this isn't a social app. Don't say that. Um, but I digress. It's a no go. And murmur is the next one. This only has like a hundred active users. So right off the bat, it's kind of a no go because there's literally no one on here. Um, and I mean, a lot of the content is just random. I mean, I mean, I can't really knock that because that's almost any social platform, but there isn't a lot of users here. It's mainly just the same people just posting a ton. And though, you know, there's something going on here. It's not the greatest. You're stuck with the default cover image. You're like, if we go and look at people's accounts, there's really not a whole lot going on for most people. I mean, I'm assuming these are some of the top people on the, uh, on the website since they're suggested, suggested accounts. But again, if you, if you check out murmur, there isn't a lot going on. I think it's a decent enough design. It just, it doesn't really break through because again, people don't want to use a platform that barely anyone is using just because there's a lot of people posting, but it's the same people doesn't mean it's good either. And it really just seems like that is only there to make it seem like there's more people using it than there really are. And it is kind of a bit of an awkward experience. Like a lot of the posts, I mean, I've never gone through this public feed and seen something that I was like, okay, like this is actually interesting. Let me stop and like, look at this. It's mainly ads and um, Spanish content. Not that I have anything against Spanish content, but if there's like lacking a lot of English, then um, I don't think, I naturally don't think a lot of people from my audience are going to be like, oh yes, I want to go and read all these Spanish posts. I mean, at least they do a good job of marking sensitive content. But yeah, I mean, a lot of it is like, you see, there's like repeat posts and a lot of it's in Spanish and ads and such. I, again, like this is just my opinion, guys. If you think I'm wrong about this platform, let me know because you don't, there's, there's barely anyone using it, which is really why I should have even barely even touched on this at all. But Hey, you guys let me know. So the next, the next application we're going to look at is Nebula. This one, I don't even really have to review. There was absolutely no one using this platform. I, uh, they haven't even had another post since I previously did a video. Um, this guy basically sums it all up. This whole EOS DAP thing is confusing and there's not a lot of useful DAPs other than the gambling. That is so accurate. There isn't even timestamps, so you don't even know how old these are. Um, they've probably been here for a really long time because no one is using this. There's no trending posters. Don't even bother with Nebula. This is, there's no one here. We already looked at Tribe. Dissentium. This one actually like looks pretty well done. It looks like a... EOS version of medium, more or less, but there's barely anyone using this as well, right? Like uh, one scroll will get you back like a month's worth of posts. So the first post was September 9th and the bottom is August 14th. So as you can see, there's not a lot going on here. At least, at least these are decent quality posts for the most part. I still do not recommend this though. Because from what I remember, yeah, if you want to upvote someone, you have to pay money. And no matter what platform I'm on, whether it's sent, whether it's memo cash, I already said this before, if you have to spend money to upvote people. It's, it's not going to work and people are not going to use this platform. That's it. Um, and then all the rest here that you can see on screen 
didn't make the cut because they weren't working. They were in another language. Um, Boyd isn't a social platform. This is in another language. This isn't really a social platform. Lumios. It's only for polls and surveys. So it's like a bounty kind of program where you're earning for answering things. It's not really a social platform. Karma, super, super niche. Um, someone said, how is it niche? It's a, it's a social platform. Well, on the website, they say publish content must have the value of goodness because it's supposed to be around like charitable acts and good deeds and such. And when it's a requirement, I mean, it kind of, it's so vague that it's like, how can you dis determine, you know what I mean? Their value dropped 10 times since they started, which is similar to tribe. Um, it's only usable on mobile, which is another gripe of mine. And, and because I wanted to be fair, I, I downloaded it, tried signing up. It did not let me sign up. I tried again and it just kept saying problem trying to create an account. So I wasn't able to even get an account on karma either. Let me know if you guys disagree with any of these views or if I've misrepresented anything. This is for all of those EOS users and other people who said I didn't do my due, my due diligence. I went back through, got as in-depth as I could looking through these different platforms and, um, and being as specific as I could for social platforms versus non-social platforms. Also, one last thing, don't forget about voice. This isn't out yet but it has the most potential to be the best EOS platform. Everyone's really hype about it. But again, this is all hype and conjecture. We have no idea how this is actually going to play out or if it'll ever release, right? Who knows? But it is supposed to release fairly soon. And a lot of people think it's going to do really, really well. And I have requested to be in the beta. So we will see how that plays out. Maybe I will do a review of the beta for you guys if I get into that. But aside from that, that is pretty much everything. I did want to just jump into the uh, the websites that I used to find all this just to give you a quick look because a lot of people were like, ah, you're using apps that are shouldn't that you shouldn't be using. And da, 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 da. So uh, this is these are the apps listed on here. Once you get to the point where there's less than a hundred users, I stopped paying attention because it's just not realistic that I'm going to go through hundreds of apps that have literally no one using them at all, because why would you use that kind of an application? Lumios is the top one. Unfortunately, it is hardly a social application. And ba basically the only one here that actually is working and could really be considered a social platform is Murmur. When we look at state of dApps, again, Lumios is the top one because there's over a thousand users. So that does make sense. But again, doesn't really pass Karma again. No good. Lore freeze in a different language. We have Murmur again, Sense Chat, Tribe. See, according to this, Tribe has 15 users in the past 24 hours. That's like nothing. That is nothing. Barely anyone is on that platform. Nebula has 12 users. Regardless of this is accurate, take all of these and times them by 10 and you still barely have any users on the platform. So, you know, let me know what you guys think, right? This is, this is about everything that I can do. I, I've done so much due diligence. I don't know what else to review. Again, if you think that I missed something, if you think that I'm misrepresenting something, let me know you guys, because I will make sure to go over this in the comprehensive review in the future to ensure that everything is covered correctly. And I just realized now that I recorded this with the incorrect video, but you're going to have to just watch me on the main screen. Anyways, thanks so much for watching though. If you did make it this far, do comment number one ham in the comments. So I actually know that you watched the whole review. I'm sorry it was so long but I wanted to make sure that I got everything down pat. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and make sure to let us know what you think about EOS applications and, and wallets and everything that I talked about in this review. Let us know in the comments below so that we can continue the discussion. I'm Scott Cunningham, a Scotty Business, signing off. Cheers.